Hello, this is Toph from Trifold Productions with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how I can um, easily use the Grease Pencil Tool in Blender for doing 2D animations. And it's by using this add-on called the GP Animator Desk Tool. Um, it's not for you have to pay for it, but for the price of it, it's not that bad. It's for Blender 2.83 all the way to Blender 4.0. And I'll leave a link of it below this video so you can download yourself and check it out. And the installation process is still the same. Just go to Edits, Preferences, Install. Navigate to where you've downloaded the zip file. Do not unzip it, just click on it and click on Install Add on. And then you put a check in the box. Let me type an animator here Animator. Oh, that's not how to spell it. A T O R and put a check in the box and it's activated. And I'm going to show you how it looks uh, before the add on is installed and, and after, obviously. And the best way to access the 2D aspect of Blender is from the splash screen. So, soon you open up Blender, you'll see the splash screen. This, this is for Blender 2.81 for the uh, tutorial. I'm going to use Blender 2.92, but I'm just going to show you how it looks <clears throat> before the add-on is installed. So click on 2D animation. This is the best way to access the 2D aspect of Blender is through the splash screen here. And it bring, gives you this white uh, space to work with, which is the sheet you can work with. And it uh, gives you access to the uh, grease pencil tool, but all the other tools aren't visible you have to dig for them when it comes to adding frames and so on and so forth and for someone who is a beginner in blender that's pretty frustrating and kind of annoying to have to dig to find the tools but the gp animator desk add-on makes it a lot easier i'm going to close this out and open up the splash screen once again splash screen and this is in blender 2.9 where i have the add-on installed I'm going to click on 2D animation. You'll see the difference here. Left click on that. And there you go. All the tools are here. Most of them are here. You have tools on the sidebar also. Let me expand that. Click on GP there. And you have these set of tools that are more advanced and helps you fine tune your 2D uh, venture or adventure, so to speak. But I'm just going to stick with the tools that are at the bottom here just as an introduction and onion skinning is all already uh, activated here you have all the other tools when it comes to previous keyframe next keyframe previous frame uh, next frame adding frames pencil tool um, eraser and so on and so forth uh, but they also good the other good thing about this add-on is that it uses blenders native tools also when it comes to uh, the grease pencil so you click on that you still have blenders uh, basic tools there which is good um, but let's go through the tools at the bottom here and I'm just gonna just just draw something so to speak just to get it started and just draw a simple circle so we can see how the onion skinning works left click and drag with our pen tool selected and that's our first part of our animation. This is just a crude circle drawing. And all you have to do to go to the next frame is add a keyframe by clicking on the plus button there. And because the grease pencil tool is still open, you can still see the drawing that I just drew, which gives me an idea of where I want my next image or drawing to be, which would be right here. Left click and draw my next circle. And it just keeps going on like this. So you have a pattern there of how or where you want the next drawing to be. Now you can also click on the erase tool, click on that to give you an eraser. You can change the uh, settings of all your tools up here, the erase tool, the radius of it. Uh, if you want to be dissolve, point or stroke with the strength of it and so on and so forth. And here, let's go back to our pencil tool there. Here that gives you more focus on the 3D. You click on that, it gives you more real estate to work with left click on that again this kind of minimizes the space that you're working with if you left click on it it gives us a little bit of a more I guess pushed back sheet 
we scroll up and get, get our real estate back. That's not a big deal. This opens and closes that panel. Left click, left click brings it back. This gives us all some more real estate to work with. Left click on that, it minimizes uh, the top part. Click it again, brings it back. Click it a third time, gives us all the tools back again. Uh, this brings out this tool panel. Left click brings it out. Left click closes that back. But it's really easy and simple to use. If we want to add another frame to a left click on that plus sign, another frame, draw another circle. If we go back in our timeline and play, that's our animation. So this tool, which is the GP Animator Desk add-on, it works great. It helps immensely when it comes to uh, using Blender's 2D aspect to create animations in Blender. And it's, I think it's a really great tool myself personally. And that's the, today's Blender Quick Tip. And I once again hope this was helpful for those of you who are watching. Download yourself and just check it out. And it's a really phenomenal tool. If you're a 2D artist who wants to use Blender, which is a free software, in order to create animations easily, the GP Animator Add-on Desk Animator or Desk Add-on is the tool to use. And once again, make sure we like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.